an important thing is the classroom word wall is something that you are going to use. It's not just decoration. I see so many word walls that are just up there and never ever used in real reading and writing activities. So we wanna make sure the words that we have up there can be used to help kids be really effective readers and very effective writers. So the, there are two rules. One rule for a word wall word is words that are really hard to decode, but are very high frequency. So an example of the word would, W-O-U-L-D. Okay, let's decode that word, wold. No, sorry, it's wood. Why? It just is. Pick words that are hard to, to decode, but very high frequency. The rule two is pick words that are highly useful to decode or encode other words. So let me give you an example. The word in is a great word to have on your word wall because it's very high frequency, but also in will help me read a whole bunch of other words like thin and win and sin and thin. So it's a great word because it has that high frequency word family.